know, Michael made a couple of really good plays on the offensive end, and Bob made a, a big block, and we got a little run and got back in control. But um, you know, Princeton's they're a very good team. They're going to be in the tournament. They'll probably win the Ivy League, and uh, they're smart. They move the ball. They got good shooters. Uh, I thought we did a pretty good job attacking. They changed defenses a lot, and uh, I thought Michael did a really good job of getting the ball to the right people uh, in the right situations. And uh, you know, we weren't sharp offensively uh, as, as sharp as we'd like to be, but. Uh, you know, James bailed us out early, made, made a couple big shots in the first half to give us some distance. But uh, I thought the veterans played well. Uh, you know, I think uh, the three inside guys, Vi gives us the best defense. That's why he's in there a little bit more. Uh, Rock is good defensively. Against some teams, if they're going to play zone, we're going to play the smaller lineup. James will be in there more uh, with CJ because he gives us another offensive player, another shooter. Uh, from the perimeter, and uh, you know that's that's what we'll have to do when we see zone defenses or different kinds of defenses anyway. And that, that's we do have that flexibility. Uh, I thought Daywan was good. He got some he got good rebound position out there and uh, made good plays. He's he's been shooting his foul shots are good. He's been shooting the ball well. And just a little bit too strong. He, it's, he's getting comfortable. It's going to take some time, but uh, but he'll get there. Uh, but again, uh, our veterans played uh, very well defensively. You force Princeton into 24 turnovers. That's uh, they probably won't have 24 turnovers in two games this year and the rest of the year. But uh, you know, we, we did a good job defensively. They're a very good team, and uh, you know, this was a good win. <coughs> you still have James's defense and uh, his. Yeah, he and ran into some steals. Uh, that's unusual. <laughs> what happened there? <laughs> He'll, he'll try to avoid that next game. Great. What does your team need to do to come out sharp offensively in the next game? Well, I think in this at this time of the year, you need to get better every game. And I, I think, uh, you know, we shot the ball pretty well overall. We uh, didn't turn it over. Uh, we made a few mistakes, but that's part of early season basketball. And we haven't seen uh, a lot of zone, and when you see zone, sometimes for the first time, you know, I don't think we attacked it. A couple of times we did attack it well, got the ball in the right places, and in the end, when we needed it, uh, Michael attacked it, and we, we got him in the lane, and he made a couple of real good plays, and uh, CJ finished down low, and I finished on down there. So we, we, we played all right. You know, we always can get better. Uh, there's That's the whole purpose. You're going to try to get better all the time. Um, get our young guys more experience as much as we can in game situations as we go through the non-league schedule. Uh, the veterans are going to play the most when we get to these, these games that are going to be close. Uh, I think anybody that, uh, you know, any coach that's ever coached, if you got a veteran forward, a freshman forward, you're in a tough game, you're going to go with the veteran. It doesn't say the freshman isn't good, but you're going to go with the veteran guy. What do you make of Michael's progress at the point guard through the first three? Well, games? I think he's getting better. You know, I think he's still got a lot of work to do, but he's, you know, he's playing well. He's he's getting the ball in the right places. He's he's called a couple great plays out there when we needed him. Set James up for a three, and you know, got the two buckets for us in the lane when, when they pulled within six. Uh, you know, he's he's playing uh, extremely well. His defense has been really good. I think both Brandon and him have played good defense, and Trevor, our guards, have played very well defensively out front. And, uh, you know, I think that's, uh, you know, that's good. Jim, last year, Dion could come off the bench and change the game. It, in different ways, can James be that? Well, James can certainly do that. He can score. That's what Dion did. And uh, I think James can score. I think Trevor can give his scoring off the bench. He had good looks tonight. You know, he's going to have games. He's not going to make them, but he'll, he'll make his share. I think they're good guys to have coming off the bench, and uh, you know, Bai is a great weapon to have coming in there, play center for you. Uh, we've got good balance. CJ was good tonight in the second half. He struggled, he struggled early, but kind of got into position a little bit better in the second half. 
Is CJ struggling to get looks because teams are paying more attention to him? Or? Well, he doesn't get as many looks at the three as he did the four. The four was actually better for him. He got more 15 foot and in looks. He's getting the ball 20 feet now, and it's, he's not quite as comfortable there. Um, but uh, you know, he'll he'll get better. Coach, any comments on the realignment? No. Really Let those people play their games. They're going to be doing that for the next 20 years. You know, we say just figure it out, get it all done the next year, and we wouldn't have to think about it. It's going to all end up getting done someday. I think they would be able to figure out and just – maybe they should just have a draft. Just each conference just draft teams because it doesn't make any sense who they're getting anyway. So they might as well just have a draft, except then they'd have to make a decision. They probably wouldn't be able to figure that out. But, you know, eventually – you know, they'll get this thing figured out. They'll get all the teams moved, but it won't. You know, they'll wait a year or two, and then somebody will take somebody, then somebody else will say, well, we need to take somebody now. And then they'll take somebody. And then next, next, wait, in the next month, somebody else will take one, then they'll wait a couple more years. And someday down the road, they'll get Notre Dame to play. I'll be long gone by then. <laughs> long cool. gone. A little sad for you to see a lot of rivalries kind of fall yeah, out everybody place. knows the story. I mean, it's, they, they're, they're going for the whatever they're going for, and the, the rivalries don't matter uh, to anybody anymore. I, I think if you ask somebody in West Virginia right now, they, they, their fans, if they like going out to Texas Tech, Texas A&M, and all those places, ask their fans whether they really like that. You know, Maybe they do. I don't know. I don't, I don't get it. Never have got it. Uh, it's, what, it's just the way it's going and there's nothing you can do about it. So like I said, if these guys were running the United States in colonial times, Brazil and Argentina would be states because they have something we need. We need a great country. Have a good Thanksgiving.